Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have x to the power of half plus 2 to the power um 2x equal to 6. x to the power of 1 over 2 plus 2x equals 6. Now x to the power of 1 over 2 here is the same thing as square root of x. Right? Then we have um plus here we have 2x which will be equal to 6 now what should i do square root of x from here should be equal to 6 minus 2x if i collect like terms right okay now the next step is to square both sides so i'll square this then i'll put this together and then i will square this so that's from here, this can go with this, and x will be equal to 6 minus 2x squared. And now, I want us to look at this very quickly. If you have a minus b squared, this should give you a squared minus 2ab then plus b squared okay this is what it will give you so i'm going to apply the same thing here but then this x will come out first and then it will be equal to in place of a squared i have six squared so write six squared here we have two a is six then b is um our b is two x okay so i write two x over there then i close this then plus b squared now is going to be two x squared okay let's continue so that from here x will be equal to 36 minus if you multiply this two times six is 12 times two x that will be 24 24x then plus 2x squared will give 4x squared okay so from here we will need to rearrange this very quickly so i write 4x squared first this minus 24x will appear this x becomes negative then plus 36 this is now equal to 0 okay so 4x squared minus 25x plus 36 is equal to zero now we have a quadratic equation that we can solve using um the formula method okay so from here we are going to use the formula to do it so a is 4 that is this then b is minus 24 okay it's 25 now which is this and then our c is 36 right okay so the formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac and the whole of this is over 2a now our x will be b minus b now will become minus minus 25 plus or minus we have minus 25 squared then minus 4 times a is 4 okay a is 4 and then our c is 36 okay so the whole of this will be over 2 times 4 right okay let's continue x will be equal to we have 25 plus or minus if you square this you have 625 then if you multiply this you have 576 this will be over 2 times 4 which is 8 
Okay, let's continue. X will be equal to 25 plus or minus. If I subtract this, I will have 49. Then that will be over 8. Meaning that X is equal to 25 plus or minus. Square root of 49 is 7. And that will give 8. Okay, this means that x is equal to 25 plus 7 over 8 or 25 minus 7 over 8. Okay, so our x will now be 25 plus 7 will give us some um, 32, right? So we have 32 over 8, okay, or on this side. 25 minus 7 will give us 18 over 8. Let's continue so that our x will be equal to 32 divided by this will give us 4. So we have 4 over here. Then, um, or on this side, 2 can go, so we have... Um, 9 over what? 9 over 4, right? 9 over 4. And if you divide 9 by 4, you will end up having um 2.5, right? 2.5. Okay, it's actually 2.25. 2.25. Okay, so from here now, we have that our x is equal to 4. Or 2.25 now let's try to put this back into the equation so we can see the one that is um, satisfying the equation okay so I want to test or check the 4 here we're going to have um, x to the power of 1 over 2 which will be 4 to the power of 1 over 2 and it's the same thing as square root of 4 then plus on this side we have um, 2, okay, multiplied by, by 4, right? Because x is 4. And then here we have square root of this to be 2, plus this 2 times 4 is 8. This is giving us 10. And this is not what we had on the right-hand side. This means that x to be equal to 4 does not satisfy. Now let's try it. 2.25 so we have square root of 2.25 plus 2 times 2.25 now let's see whether this will give us 6 okay so from here now square root of 2.25 is giving us 1.5 and 2 times 2.25 is giving us 4.5 putting these two together we'll have 6 Okay, and that is what we had on the right hand side. So this is to confirm that x equal to 2.25 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.